I guess we can call this gas station Sunoco. S O N. Sonoco. Some of us out of nine filled up our tanks some time ago, or even maybe we filled it up here at Sonoco last Shabbat. But this past week caused a little more driving and a little more distance in the vehicle than we originally anticipated. So some of us here came back to Sunoco with a pretty full tank. Some of us came here riding on fumes. Pretty much pin to E. Wondering where that moment is when you're just totally out of gas. That mysterious little girl. time in the vehicle when you're at E and you're a little bit even beyond E and you have no idea how much gas you really have left, but you feel that you're on the verge of just being stranded. Some of us came here running on empty. Some of us came here running just on fumes. But you made it to Sun Oko, the fuel station. Yes. And the great attendant comes to the vehicle because Rhode Island doesn't have the revelation. You got to fill your own tanks around here. We may have left New Jersey, Sue and I, but they have the revelation that the attendant fills your tank. And it's cheaper. Go figure. So we pull in here on E. We've all had that experience in our cars. We have no idea how much fuel is left. We're pinned to E. We don't think we're going to make it. And then finally we see that beacon on the road that says Sunoco. And we're like, we made it here. So we pull up in the gas station, in the fuel station, the attendant comes out. So today, whether we come here on a full tank, or half a tank, or whether this past week just caused us to drive much more than expected and to put more miles on the vehicle than we really ever thought we would in a week. Rejoice that you made it to the station. Rejoice today that you are not stranded on the road. Rejoice today that it's a 24-hour gas station. You pulled in. We've had experiences where we were empty and we'd gone to the gas station, but it was the wrong gas station because the lights were off, the pumps were closed, and the sign said closed. We pulled up to the wrong gas station. We thought it was open, but it was not. That was the wrong station, and it disappointed us. And we're like, oh man, I don't think I can have the, I don't have the fuel to make it. But we try again and we leave that 
desolate empty station, fuel station that has no fuel to serve us. That gave us a bit of false advertising because the sign was still on the road. We didn't realize all the lights were off there. But we finally make it to Sun Oco. S O N O C O. S O N O C O. <laughs> and the lights are on. And the attendant is in. And the attendant is working. As it says in scripture, my father is working unto this day. And so am I. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. We pull up at the gas station, the attendant comes out. What are you doing working in Shabbat? <laughs> And then the attendant says, my father is working unto this day. And so am I. Yes, thank you. Thank in fact, I'm just not in any ordinary gas attendant. I am the Lord of Shabbat. So we thank you, Adonai. Whether we had a full tank, whether we had a half tank, or we coasted in here on fumes. We made it to the station. Yes. So. Father, we lift up those who are stuck on the road. Yeah. We lift up those who didn't make it today. Yes. You are a mobile gas station, Father. Yes. There was one that spoke to the king and said, to worship you in Jerusalem, or to worship you here, or to worship you there. And you said the day is coming when all creation will worship me in spirit and in truth. And borders won't matter in that case. So, Sun Oko gas station is a mobile gas station. So we pray out and I for those just ran out of gas. It's a blessing to come here out of night, but you are here, there, and everywhere. Here, there, and everywhere. Here. So we pray out of night that you take that fuel pump and the great attendant can go out to them right where they are. They don't need to have a triple A account. They don't need to spend any money on any sort of help. The fuel you offer is for free. So we thank you for making us, making it to here with us. And we thank you that you will make it to them. Father. The station is open. Yeah. Thank you. Where's my honey? Mm -hmm. Come on, Susie. Let's tell these Mishkans that they're lovely. <laughs> Please stand.